But I was a jazz musician, and uh, I, you know, to make money, I had to play these crappy wedding gigs, and all these people would be, you know, we'd have to play polkas, and people would be dancing to the polkas, and I'd be up there on stage thinking, don't you people have any self-respect? And then I realized, oh, wait a second, I'm the one playing the songs. <laughs> Anyhow, folks, we have one last comic for you. Please welcome the one and only Stephanie Lane. <laughs> Don't do it! But I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Here we go. So, um, I want to say that I've never been offered more meds anywhere than I was tonight backstage. <laughs> Just gonna say, I was offered blue pills, white pills, blue pills, mints that look like pills, that said, <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, but it took me a really long time to figure out that four point restraints weren't foreplay. <laughs> and it took me even longer to figure out that uh, the restraining order that my boyfriend took out on me wasn't him playing hard to get. <laughs> you lifted that right, David? That restraining order? No. That's okay, Judy, I don't want him. <laughs> He's too easy now. No restraining. I'm oppositionally defiant, too. So I'm just saying. If you want to date me, run away from me. <laughs> okay? And I don't date, I hunt. <laughs> I want that! <laughs> so, I, I tried online dating once. But, um... It was really expensive, way too expensive for me. I'm a social worker. But it turns out that I was dating an operator from the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> I get lots of nice presents. <laughs> Didn't work out. Um, I mean, what do you say to someone? We always talk about who we are, what we do. Um, and I've never really been a doormat kind of gal. No, you can't tell, right? Yeah. So shy and a daughter. Um, I'm more of a landmine kind of gal. I really think that I should come with a warning label. You know, I think I should introduce myself. Hi, my name's Stephanie. Or be like Duffy. Hi there. Hi there, my name's Stephanie. And I got a pocket full of crazy. <laughs> Um, so, this is fun. I can't believe you're laughing. <laughs> I can't believe that you're laughing or that I actually finished something I started. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> but like, in walk, you know, in back to dating, it's very serious. We're hunting. You know, I, I talk about things that I like. You know, talk to people. I talk about that I like long walks on the beach, massages, and taking my lithium with chilled <laughs> coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fancy like that. I am. I'm fancy like that. 
they're never gonna get this mind away from me. Did I tell you I'm bipolar? <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be at work. Hi, Sue. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Um, but I do get annoyed easy. That's another thing too. Um, clicking pens and missionaries at my door. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but now it's election ads. It's like, oh, it's like, I don't care if you've approved this message. I want to approve this message. <laughs> so, and what's worse is that my remote mute doesn't work. So, like, the most exercise you get now is going, no, no, no. Um, I have to be a program director at Capital Recovery Center. Woo woo! Woo! And all of us have what's called lived experience with mental illness. I just want them to have lived experience with being on time. <laughs> Come on, people, please. I do work with a really enthusiastic guy, though. And he's like, um, I don't know, like in a Marmaduke or kind of Clifford kind of way. He, uh, and the enthusiasm doesn't really bother me. It's the slobbering, the barking that I make. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, and I wish that uh, Facebook uh, friend requests came with um, different choices rather than like ignore or confirm. I wish there was no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> and like, um, I have self esteem now. <laughs> mm, this not going to work for me. <laughs> and then you look at the picture and you're like, and you have the same haircut from 1989. <laughs> really? Well, then, no. Um, but a lot of people, I'm going to kill myself on this. Um, a lot of people, and that don't, there's therapists in the room, <laughs> don't run up to the stage. Um, just. <laughs> a lot of people have mental health conditions. Um, and here, I don't know, is it a one out of four? I mean, look around. And if you, if you can't, <laughs> this is what they say about, and, well, I won't go there, but <laughs> if one out of four people are your friends and you can't tell who has a mental health condition, <laughs> look in the mirror. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But, here, <laughs> but here's how you can tell if you actually have you liked that. That was funny to you. <laughs> you get extra money. <laughs> so you know you have a mental health condition. Um, when the crisis line has you on speed dial. <laughs> and you know you have a mental health condition when the 911 operator recognizes you by your voices. <laughs> And you know that you have a mental health condition when the top of your insurance medical card says frequent flyer. <laughs> <laughs> so many points, nowhere to cash them in. <laughs> and I don't think I'd want what I could get. <laughs> you just want a free straight jacket. <laughs> You know, you know that you have a mental health condition when we're going to everybody knows your name is the psych ward. <laughs> like I'll have the usual three lithium and some chilled coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad, oh my dad, plug your ears, friends. <laughs> my dad, I love my dad, but he was so excited when I got a mental health when I finally got diagnosed because um, he could cancel the exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> We're very Catholic, and I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's cheaper than therapy, <laughs> and blessed by God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this, I don't know if I like the side effects. But when I finally got diagnosed, I had to choose. I, had to, um, I was diagnosed, and I did. They did recommend lithium, and lithium actually does work for me when I take it. <laughs> and, um, 
I had to choose. There's some side effects. I had to choose between being fat and sane and being skinny and crazy. Yeah. Right? I mean, I'm breaking that down pretty simple because there's a whole, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, the side effects sometimes in mental health stuff are worse than, than the actual cure. So, um, but <laughs> I got chubby. So I got chubby and um, it introduced me to an entirely new breed of man. <laughs> you know where I'm going? The chubby chaser. <laughs> okay? You want this? You want this? Yeah? Like, dude, you don't have to chase me. I'm chubby. <laughs> I'm staying right here. <laughs> I will wait for you. <laughs> Bring me a Slurpee. Yeah, I'm not going. So, I'm also sick of all the political correctness, you know? I'm never, people who know me know that I'm not the most politically correct person. Um, I have a filter issue. <laughs> anymore. They're differently abled, right? Right? But when people don't say, wow, Stephanie's exhibiting some mental health symptoms. No. <laughs> when I walk into the room, they go, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> OMG! Capital C! <laughs> and I'm like, Nobody wants to talk about, let alone acknowledge. 
And the fact that you guys showed up and, and bought a ticket and, and are supporting us, but also um, believe in stomping out stigma, stigma for mental illness means the world to us. So we'd like to give you a round of applause. Queen. I'm going to get the biggest blizzard there is. 